Hi, I'm Todd Capriva, Technical Support Lead for After Effects. I've worked for Adobe on the After Effects team for several years, including as a documentation lead for After Effects 7 through After Effects CS5. This workshop shows you all of the ways that you can track motion within After Effects, either for the purpose of stabilizing the motion or for the purpose of applying the motion to another object. Stabilizing motion is most often used for removing unwanted shake from a handheld camera or similarly poorly shot scene. Motion tracking is also a common part of rotoscoping and other compositing tasks, as one element is overlaid onto another. I'll provide details of using the new warp stabilizer effect, which makes stabilizing shaky handheld footage much easier than in the past. I'll also show how to use the point tracker for stabilizing motion in After Effects CS5 and earlier, which is still useful for some purposes within After Effects CS5.5. You'll also learn how to use the point tracker to attach one layer to follow the motion of an object in another layer. Finally, You'll learn how to use Mocha for After Effects, which is a planar tracker that enables motion tracking for scenes that can't be effectively tracked using the point tracker. Once you've learned how to track motion in a scene, you'll see many opportunities for increasing your efficiency in many animation and compositing tasks. Effects that previously seemed prohibitively difficult will seem attainable or even easy. I hope that you enjoy the training and learn how to save some shaky shots and make compositing easier.